We are in for a treat today, everyone. We've got the entire Inkahuma Pride, it looks like, and they are static around Buffelzook Dam. And we've got the tiny little babies with it. Have a look there. That is properly cool. I still haven't eaten anything. Now, it's not to say that they're not eating things. I mean, they'd fairly easily be able to catch impala relatively easily. Um, but impala and impala, single impala won't go a long way to, to feed all of these hungry males. I mean, look at that male's tummy. That's a young male, I think. He's having a wee on his baby brother. Rude boy. And his tummy doesn't look that empty. Look at that, it's got a slight bulge to it. I think he has had something to eat, you know. I don't think much. Boom, down. The mom in the background, it doesn't look like they've had much to eat. Crispy Chippy, you'd like to know how many cubs an adult lioness has. Um, they can have anywhere from two to about, well, from one to six cubs. The average is two to four. Um, with about a 70% mortality rate across the lion's entire African range. So in some areas, more cubs survive than others. And that's because environments are harsher in some areas than others. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. But in this particular area, I think that the average uh, mortality rate over the period of a couple of years is probably close to 70%. But on a year-to-year -year basis, uh, I think it's slightly uh, lower than that. Now, what kills cubs? Generally speaking, starvation or disease will kill cubs. Um, with adults picking their own survival over the survival of their cubs. And that's because lions can give birth relatively quickly after a catastrophe has befallen them. And obviously for the benefit of the species, this particular species, lions will choose survival of the fittest over survival of their babies, which is unlike primates, uh, who will almost always try and save their babies above all else. Oh, they are cute. Now, I definitely think they've eaten something. The key would be to go and have a look at this male's tummy. See, Nack, you'd like to know how long lion cubs suckle for? Well, see, Nack, they'd start to eat meat at about eight weeks. Um, they will still suckle, though, up until nine months, and it's not uncommon for them to suckle up to a year and a half. That's not male, male lion, obviously. And why I say the trick would be to see if they caught something, if his belly's full. He's hanging around with these, oh no, of course his belly is hidden completely by that stick. He's hanging around with these females to make sure that any female coming into estrus is looked after and is covered by him. In return for that, uh, he steals all their food. So I know it doesn't sound like a very comfortable uh, and healthy uh, relationship. But with this male around and with him being dominant over these females, or actually him being dominant in this area, he's not dominant over the females, um, he provides a safety uh, net basically for these cubs. If other males were allowed to enter into this environment, they would kill the cubs hoping to bring the females into estrus and then covering them and uh, siring their own offspring and their own genes into this into this area. With him being here and him being kept fat and happy and fit and strong, the females basically pay for a bodyguard of epic proportions. Let's have a look at that with his mouth hanging open. This is a lion we call Tino, means tooth or the toothed one. And as you can see, you'd think it would be quite romantic, but the toothed one just refers to whatever the hell's going on with his lip there. It looks like he's been stung by a swarm of a thousand bees. A male lion have one of the hardest lives out there, born into a harsh environment. They live a hard life. They die hard eventually. 
don't know what's going on with his excuse me i don't know what's going on with his uh with his lip definitely doesn't look comfortable Um, Carl, you'd like to know if a lioness will still suckle cubs if her own has died? Yes, they will. They they cooperatively nurse. They share nursing duties with one another. So any lactating mother will be able to suckle any cub and will do so. It's quite often the only thing that keeps cubs alive is the fact that mothers can share milk or share the milk, the collective milk uh, in the pride amongst all the babies that need it. And uh, these little <coughs> youngsters now can use every little bit of nutrition that they can muster. They're now part of the Pride's movements per night. And can you imagine in a season like this where pickings are rather slim this year, that, uh, that they are needing to, can you imagine those short little legs having to run through the grass like they have to, to keep up with mom and aunties? It will be a monumental task. <laughs> 